This video brings us to a really interesting uh, covered bridge that it's like a stone's throw from where I grew up. I could literally throw a stone from my house and hit the bridge if I wanted to. Um, this, this bridge, this is in Linen Center, Vermont. Uh, over on the left, you can see it's called the, the Puking Pig, actually. There's only two in the world like it. They were made in Italy. But that has nothing to do with this story. So we're coming uh, through Linen Center. The bridge, it's a covered bridge, has low overhead clearance. It's like a 16,000 pound limit, load limit. You can see the signs here flashing. 11 feet, 9 inches. Notice, 11 feet, 9 inches, 1,500 feet. Uh, trucks don't seem to see that sign. Um, it just uh, is continually getting hit. It's probably one of the most bridge, covered bridges that have the most accidents in Vermont, I would say. This is actually Route 122. It's a state highway that is that the bridge, uh, it goes through the bridge. Another one lane bridge, 11 foot nine. Um, it's the only one in the state that has a state highway that goes through the covered bridge. It's the last one. So here we are, coming down around the corner. You can see still boards missing for where people have, trucks have gone through and smashed it. I'll come back to this little pull-off and we'll, uh, we'll talk about it. You have to be really careful when you're going through here because people get upset pretty quickly. You might, if you meet in the road in the bridge right here and a car is there sometimes it's a battle of the wills <laughs> I'm not backing up no you back up I'm not backing up I don't back up for jerks well I do and then he backs up so yeah it gets a little hostile this where I'm parked right now actually there used to be a house here when I was growing up <clears throat> excuse me this, you can see it's been hit on this side. The, the road used to split into a Y right here, and it would go left and right. Uh, they re rerouted it so that it makes more sense. They also added the, the walkthrough on the left side that you can see there, because people would get hit as they were walking across the bridge. It's really a pretty um, a busy little area. We'll go on the other side. That house that you can see up there, up to the left of the bridge, is where I grew up. Uh, we, it was almost a continuous thing. Just people, there'd be shouting matches, things just, uh, just a, a, a troubled little area. It's a beautiful little bridge. But uh, let's go, we'll go take a look at that. So in 1878, this bridge was built. This, this was added on later. Used to be those guardrails were not there. When I was probably in high school, a car came down through there at night, spun out. Those boards are slippery sometimes. Turned sideways and actually ran through the side of the bridge. It got cocked sideways in there and the person was actually killed. So many times cars will come down, if they're going both ways, they'll try to look and be uh, sometimes courteous, sometimes not. You never know. You can see there's quite a bit of traffic there. Anyway, so at some point, it, the, the river that runs under here is Miller's Run School. I was, sorry, that's a school up in Sheffield. 
Miller's Run River. And at some point it changed from Bradley Covered Bridge to Miller's Run Bridge. If you want, you could check out my, my brother uh, owns a house up here, up here now. Uh, and he has cameras set up. And he's actually been instrumental in helping find the people that drive through here. Um, it's been a big help to the police officers. The, um, so, so he has a channel, it's called Covered Bridge Accidents. You should check that out because it shows a lot of the cars and tru or trucks that try to go through there. They'll get there, I mean, all the signs coming down here say, hey, 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 watch. It's a, it's a low covered bridge and it's only 16,000 pound limit. There's been tractor trailers that have come through here weighing 70,000 pounds. I don't quite understand how they don't understand that. Anyway, uh, it's interesting little bit of history of one of the covered bridges. I think there's about five covered bridges here in Lindenville. Most of them are either set aside and not used anymore or on a dirt road or something that's not as traveled as this. They've talked about different things about moving the road over and straightening it out, taking the bridge down or just um, making it uh, just a something where you could stop and walk through it without the road going through it. They haven't done that. They're talking about now putting up a, a, an iron post <laughs> down low enough so that it would, when they come down screaming through here with a big, big cube truck, uh, get their roof torn off. I guess that would stop them. I don't know. Anyway, short, short little video on covered bridges. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're not a subscriber. Hit the like button, tap the bell. Definitely leave a comment. I appreciate those. Thanks.